Hello everybody, welcome to Story Zone. Story Zone. Come on, sit yourselves down. Everyone's welcome here at Story Zone. Come on, sit yourselves down. Are you all ready? Oh, and before we begin, I've been asked to do a, a special hello to Isaac. Hello Isaac. Was that good? Did I forget anybody? No, I think it was just Isaac. Right, this is a very nice den you've built, Chip. It's very good. It's very nice and cosy. I bet you like being in here and having friends in here. No to the friends. Mm. We'll come back to that later. But what do you do if you haven't got a nice den like this? What could you do to show people how much you care about them? How about hugs? Is hugs good? Because you like giving hugs, don't you? I've got a book here all about hugs. Should we read it? Come on then. Here we have a book all about hugs. Hugs in the morning when the sun begins to shine. Look, hugs in the morning. Hugs in the evening when it's nearly supper time. Hugs in the daytime when we go out for a walk. Look, they've gone out for a walk. They've gone out for a walk to the park, haven't they? To see them feed the ducks. Hugs in the nighttime when I always want to talk. Hugs when it's time to go. When I turn to wave, goodbye. Look, I think she's been visiting with Grandma, don't you? Hugs when I hurt myself and rub my eyes and cry. Hugs when it's playtime and my friends make me laugh. Hugs when it's bedtime. And time to have my bath. Hugs when I kneel down and I close my eyes and pray. Hugs when I kiss goodnight, when I talk to God and say, look, it's bedtime. There's the last hug of the day. Thank you, God, for everyone that I meet through the day. Thank you for the smiles and hugs and love that come my way. Thank you that I know I'm loved, especially by you. Help me always give a hug and show that I love too. Isn't that a good idea? It's my, if we can, as we go, give a hug to people. I think that would be a good idea, don't you? There we are, that's a nice story. Do you want another story? Or shall we sit inside our den for a bit and do, oh, I think there's somebody coming. Hello, Pippa, hello. Are you coming inside our den as well? What do you mean, no? You, you like it in our den when there's just the two of us? Yeah, but that's not good. I think we should be hospital, hospital, hospi we should be share our things, don't you? Yeah, is that all right? Come on in, Pippa, you can come in. We have biscuits. <gasps> Ooh, that looks nice. Can I have a hug? Oh, thank you, Pippa. Oh, you have biscuits. Are you like going to share them? What's the matter, Pippa? Don't you want to share our biscuits? Well, they're our friends, and I think they would really like it if we could share our biscuits with them. Okay. All right. Share Come our on biscuits. Gonna eat a biscuit? Yeah. Have you having it? Yep. Oh, thank you, thank you, Pippa, for sharing our. What is it? Our, our den and 
sharing our friendship and sharing hugs and especially for sharing the biscuits. That's very nice. It's nice to be nice to people. It is. How about another story? Yes? Okay, so this story is about, is called Little Robin Redfest. Okay, are you sitting comfortably? Can you both see? Okay. It was a cold winter's night and little Robin was getting very excited. He washed and ironed seven warm vests for the frosty days ahead. He put on his white vest and set out to skate on the pond. On the way he met Frog. I'm so cold, said Frog. Can you help? Can you see the picture? There's little Robin with his seven vests all washed up, ready to wear. Frog said, can you help? Little Robin gave Frog his white vest. I've still got six vests left, as Frog hopped off happily. The next day, Little Robin put on his green vest and dashed out to play in the snow. Down the path came Hedgehog. I'm freezing, he said. Little Robin, look, there's Little Robin, gave Hedgehog his green vest. I've still got six vests left, he thought, waving goodbye to his prickly friend. The next day, little Robin put on his pink vest and went out to look for worms. Look, there he is, looking out for worms. He hadn't gone far when he saw Mole. Brrr, the cold is ground. The ground is cold, he said. I'm chilly. So, pink Robin gave Little Robin gave his pink vest to Mole. It was a bit tight, but Mole didn't mind. He felt nice and warm. Four vests left, thought Little Robin. Four days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his yellow vest and flew up to sit in the oak tree when he met Squirrel. I'm so cold I can't sleep, Squirrel grumbled. Look, there's Mole getting his vest on and there's Squirrel. Little Robin handed over his yellow vest. I've got three vests now, he thought, as Squirrel dozed off. The next day, Little Robin put on his blue vest. He was swooping through the clouds when he saw Stroll Robin on the hill. I'm so cold, my teeth are chattering, shivered Rabbit. Little Robin gave Rabbit his blue vest. I I've still got two vests left, he thought to himself, as Rabbit went cheerfully on his way. The next night, little Robin put on his purple vest and skipped along the riverbank. Look, oh, there he is. Next he came to Otter with her baby. She's very unhappy. My baby is poorly, she said. Little Robin's purple vest was just right for baby Otter and made him feel so much better. I've got one vest left, thought little Robin. Look. There's baby otter with a nice purple vest on. On the next night, little Robin put on his very last vest, a warm orange one. He was walking and whistling to himself when he, when he saw a little mouse shivering in the garden. Look, little Robin felt so sorry that he took off his last warm vest and pulled it over Mouse's little chilly ears. Now it was late and snow was falling and little Robin had nothing warm to wear. There was no one to help him and it was a long way home. He fluffed up his feathers as best he could and huddled miserably on a snowy roof. Look, Robin has given away his last vest and now he's cold and all alone. But along came Chip and Pip. They saw Robin was cold and Chip leant down and picked up Robin and hugged him tight, didn't he? He hugged him tight and warmed him up. And Pippa said, I can make a vest for little Robin. So she took some red wool and she knitted a little vest and pulled it onto Robin. So Robin was all nice and warm. 
wasn't that a good thing that Pippa and Chip did for Robin? Well, it was a lot of good things that Robin had done. The next night, Robin flew up onto the highest branch of the tree, wearing his red, gorgeous red vest, and he sang out very sweetly. Look, there's Robin wearing his nice red vest. Doesn't he look nice and warm? Well, that was a very good story about being hospitable and friends to people, wasn't it? Yeah? I think something else we'd like to do in our den together is to sing a song. Um, what happens if we sing a song that you don't know? That wouldn't be very good friends and very hospitable, would it? So we need to sing a song that we all know. And I think I know the perfect song that we used to sing in Crawlers. And I think everybody out there will know. Everybody, young and old, will know the song Wind a Bobbin Up. So together, all together, we're going to sing Wind a Bobbin Up. Is that okay? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Wind a bobbin up, wind a bobbin up, pull, pull. Clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again. Pull, pull. Clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor. Point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. Well, thank you for coming to Story Zone. It was very nice to be together. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.